Hey guys, Tamago here. So I was debating whether I should make a video on this for a while now. And my main reason for not wanting to was, listen, here on the Tamago 2474 channel, it's all about having a good time, right? Whether that be through the gaming, the story time videos or the live streams, my number one goal is just to have a good time with my viewers. So when something comes up that threatens to disturb that good time, I try to keep myself and my audience as far away from it as possible. However, a situation has popped up which has filled me with an overwhelming sense of responsibility due to the nature of how a lot of you came to discover my channel in the first place. So let's start at the beginning. Back in 2017, I made a video called The Club Penguin Story where I reminisced about my time spent playing the game as a little kid. This was in light of the fact that Club Penguin would be shutting down in that same month. I sometimes sometimes get asked how I was able to record the footage of the stuff I showed off in that video, despite the fact that Club Penguin had disabled memberships in the months before it closed. Well, the way I did it is by using a private server. These are fan-made recreations of Club Penguin, which are created using the assets of the original game, but also often give users a lot more freedom, such as unlimited coins, free membership for all the users, and customization options that you wouldn't have in the original game. The private server I used was called Virtual Penguin and I found it because it was being spammed all over Club Penguin in the months before that game would shut down. Now we'll fast forward to 2018. I was casually browsing the internet one day and discovered that there were arguments and beef going on within the Club Penguin community. Now up until this point, I wasn't even aware that there was a Club Penguin community. I assumed that, like for me, Club Penguin was a game that people played in their childhood grew out of, and then stopped playing. However, that day I learned that the Club Penguin community was very much alive, and it was being kept alive by these private servers. And there were so many private servers, each competing to be number one, that full-blown internet warfare was taking place between the websites. And naturally, I found that hilarious. You mean to tell me that teenagers and full-blown adults are allowing themselves to get drawn into drama concerning fan remakes of Club Penguin, a game where you play as something that looks like this. You can't be serious. So because I found it so funny, I made a video on Club Penguin private servers and the beef happening between them. And one of the characters I mentioned in this video was Anthony, the apparent owner of Virtual Penguin, who had been causing quite a stir in the community for attacking other smaller private servers in order to get rid of the competition. And just like I said in that video, that's pretty gangster, right? Like this dude is moving like a mob boss. So keep in mind, this video was only created to poke fun at the fact that Club Penguin private servers were beefing each other in the first place. That's like bin weevils fighting moshi monsters. Fast forward to later in that year, October of 2018, I posted a video called Club Penguin Hackers Stole My Snapchat Account because that's exactly what happened. They hacked into my account, they sent explicit images and messages to my friends, and then they locked me out of my account permanently. So I had to contact Snapchat support to get them to just shut down the account completely. Now during the night I was hacked, the three perpetrators actually joined my Discord server, essentially to gloat about what they'd done. The three people were called Jacko, Jacob, and Riley, who revealed that he was actually Anthony. So that got me really confused. I was like, why did you hack me? I'm not even involved in all your Club Penguin private server antics. I'm just an innocent bystander. To which it was then revealed to me that the hacking was apparently revenge for the video I'd made before. A video which wasn't even about Anthony. He was just a feature, but... Whatever. Since I went down, I've intentionally distanced myself as much as possible from Club Penguin private servers. It just proved to be more trouble than it was worth, and that was over a year and a half ago. So why am I talking about this now? Well recently, a person called Joey Hughes made a series of videos talking about the absolutely dreadful things happening behind the scenes of a private server called Club Penguin Online. In this video, he has a lot of evidence in the form of screenshots and testimonies from ex 
moderators of the server, because he too used to be a moderator of the server. The allegations made against the owner of Club Penguin Online and the team that still works on it to this day are incredibly serious. They include soliciting nude images from underage users of the website, hacking and doxing people who the owner takes issue with, and even swatting, which is when a fake anonymous tip is made to the police in order to get armed officers to show up to a person's house. Now the thing that ties all of this together is that the owner of Club Penguin Online is Anthony. Virtual Penguin became Club Penguin Online and it is currently the biggest private server on the internet. So in a sense, Anthony achieved exactly what he was going for, but through methods far more serious than DDoSing other private servers in order to take them down. If you want to know more about the specifics of the allegations, you can check out Joey Hughes series or just google Club Penguin Online allegations and you're sure to find results as far back as 2018 discussing this Riley Anthony figure and his team. Now the thing that makes this situation even worse is that recently Club Penguin Online got a massive influx of new players due to multiple articles being written by websites and news organizations claiming that the original Club Penguin was back without stating that these websites were actually fan-made recreations. This Evening Standard article claims that the game was relaunched by Penguin Club's creators. They called it Penguin Club, which suggests to me that these articles were written hastily as a way to gather views and clicks, rather than as the result of any genuine journalistic motivation. Not only that, but many YouTubers made videos on Club Penguin Online, not knowing the darkness going on behind the scenes, which led to even more people signing up to the website. And as of March this year, more than 6 million people have signed up to Club Penguin Online. And I get tweets, Instagram DMs, comments, and emails emails all the time from people either asking me to play the original Club Penguin or informing me that the original Club Penguin is back. And so I want to say this to everyone watching this video. Club Penguin is not back and Club Penguin is not coming back. Club Penguin is a Disney property. They acquired the rights to it in 2007 and ran it as the website we knew and loved for 10 years before shutting it down, launching its successor Club Penguin Island in 2017 and then shutting that down in 2018. Since then Club Penguin has been shelved. If you try to visit clubpenguin.com you'll be redirected to the Disney website. If you try to visit clubpenguinisland.com you'll be redirected to the Disney website. Club Penguin is gone. It's over. It's finished. If you find a game that looks like Club Penguin, sounds like Club Penguin, and even feels like Club Penguin, remember, it's not Club Penguin. Now here's the problem with fan-created remakes of any game. Most of the time, they are not regulated. They're run by people no more qualified than you or me to be managing the private data and player experience of millions of registered users. And therefore, no matter how well-intentioned the owner of a private server may be, they cannot be trusted to safeguard your personal information. Keep in mind that whenever you sign up to these websites, you don't only give them your email address and your password, but you also give them access to your IP address. And with your IP address, you can be located. So before you sign up to these websites, you've got to ask yourself, do I trust these people with my information? For me, the answer was no. And so I haven't joined a Club Penguin private server since 2018. Now you might be watching and thinking, okay, so Club Penguin Online is bad, but I've heard about this other private server, which is fine. So I'll just play that one instead. And here's what I'll say to that. The problem with Club Penguin Online doesn't lie solely with Anthony, it goes beyond that. The source of the problem is that a website with over 6 million users is being run by individuals who are unregulated and who have no business managing a multiplayer game of that size. So even if Club Penguin Online was shut down and Anthony went away or whatever, there's nothing to say that a situation like this wouldn't happen again. My recommendation is, if you really want to play a Club Penguin private server, make one, share it with your friends, and leave it at that. To clarify, if you really must play a Club Penguin private server, make one and share it with only your four friends. 
Not two million people. Now the thing I find most annoying about this whole situation is that it tarnishes the name of Club Penguin. This was a game that meant a lot to a lot of people, and now that it's being tied to these horrible things because of private servers like Club Penguin Online, it leaves a sour taste in the mouths of millions of people who enjoyed the game all those years ago. I especially feel for the people who built the original Club Penguin and Club Penguin Island games. It must be horrible to see the thing you put so much time into building being used like this. And that's why I want to quickly give a shout out to Box Critters. Now this isn't a sponsored video, I'm not getting paid by them, I don't even play the game, but the reason I'm shouting out this website is because it's the spiritual successor to Club Penguin, made by the original creator of ClubPenguin.com, Lance Preeb, aka Rocket Snail. So if you really must scratch your Club Penguin itch, then this is the way to go, although it is still in early development. And lastly, I want to say this. Some diehard members of the Club Penguin community might be understandably upset by my recommendation that people avoid all Club Penguin private servers, not just Club Penguin Online. I get it, but you need to understand that I and the majority of the people that are watching this video never took Club Penguin that seriously. It was always just a game, and when it shut down, of course we were sad, we were nostalgic, but then we moved on and played other games. Now there's nothing wrong with being part of a fandom or a stan club, there's nothing wrong with really liking something, right? But the number of people that would still be determined to play these games after finding out everything that's going on behind the scenes is probably not that high. Sure, the number was 6 million registered users, but how many are really playing the game day in, day out? That said, if you yourself really love the game, and are dedicated to finding the good, safe private servers, then by all means proceed, but do so at your own risk. This is everything I have to say about Club Penguin private servers. If there are any new developments in that area, they do not concern me. I'm sure there are other sources where you'll be able to find out the new information, but as for me, I am done. Lastly, Anthony has a track record of hacking people who say anything about him, even if they didn't say anything that bad, as I've experienced firsthand. So if you start seeing weird activity from my Twitter or Instagram or anything like that, you probably know what happened. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful or interesting at least. Please stay safe online and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.